What is up guys, it is Nick, and welcome back to episode 2 of the 1 hour money grind. Today we will be at Basham's base, so let's get into it. Okay, let's get into the rules and things you should know before we hop into the grind. First, the rules. I will be spending 1 hour at the specified area, as the title states. Hour will be timed with an item collection, loot scroll. During the hour, I will consume multiple beast drought and a simple crone meal. My class, gear, gear score, and level will all be shown before the grinding begins. The amount of enemies killed will be tracked with Marnie Stones when I see them at the grind spots easily available. I will check in about halfway through the hour to update the grind and show the rotational spot I am running at. Money earned and special drops will all be recapped at the end of the hour. Beast Drought, Simple Crone Meals, and Potions will not be factored into the end profit. Things you should know. I play on Xbox. I am not the best grinder out there. Routes and rotations are not optimal. Same as skills and skill usage, they are also not optimal. The time spent at the location will be an hour, but actual grind time will vary, will range around 50 to 55 minutes. Different classes obviously will farm these areas at different speeds, and finally, I play the game for fun, so I'm not concerned with min-maxing everything I do within the game. Alright everybody, let's hop into the grind. Let's start off with going over our gear and whatnot, and then we'll get into actually grinding this out. So starting off with the gear, we have Tri, Often Teth's Radiant, Morning Star. None of these have gems in them because I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do, whether I'm going to continue playing the character or not. So I haven't invested in, in anything to socket the weapons or armor, so do keep that in mind. So Often Tet's Radiant Morningstar Tri. We have a Tri Noiver Quaritum. Don't ask me why I have a Noiver. I'm going to get a Kudum later since we're farming monsters, but it doesn't really matter right now. We're high enough for Basham base. It doesn't really matter um, that this is not probably what I should have. Uh, moving on, we have a Dandelion Sting Try. I think that's new from the last time you guys saw Nova, because I don't think I've done an episode on Nova since uh, Awakening, after the Awakening, so we do pick up a nice Awakening weapon. We'll help with the grind. We have Ultimate Agarian Shoes, Ultimate Agarian Armor, and Ultimate Agarian Helmet, uh, because I only needed the three set to get the attack speed and plus two level. There isn't a heavy investment in the gloves. Right now, they're just the honorary combatants gloves. So moving on to the accessories, we have the Asula's Crimson Eye Pry Earrings. We have Forest Eye Earrings. We have Tri Asula's Crimson Eye Necklace. We have Duo Asula Crimson Eye Ring. We have Tri Asula Crimson Eye Ring again. And then we have a Tri Asula's Crimson Eye Belt. So obviously not the greatest gear, but it's fairly decent for a level 56. The weapons obviously are the stars of this character's build. Nothing else, the armor and the accessories are very good. Nothing like my Sork. Uh, but these weapons should be able to carry us. I will at some point swap out Kudum to Nova for future episodes. Moving on, I don't think I will need to use Beast Drought or Crone Meals on this character, so they will probably go into the family storage or the family inventory storage, and we will save them for um, an area that I should use them at. I just don't think I need them to farm this area. And so for the price, we'll increase our profits for this area. Obviously, not factored in to the profits at the end of the video, but the actual profit for my account will go up because I won't have to restock those simple crone and beast drops. Moving on, we are going to be using this extra skill EXP scroll because we're still we're in need of that here on the Nova. We're going to be using this 530 Mercenary X, or the plus 600%. Um, I have a couple of these, so we're going to use this as well. Hopefully we can get to like 57 uh, and maybe a little bit more. I will probably go ahead and pop this uh, Book of Combat 7 Days. I just need to start clearing these out. I probably will just use the Book of Combat, um, even though the Mercenary Experience will knock out the the XP, the combat XP, this expires in two days, so I probably need to do it, and we'll save this EXP scroll for um, the next farm area. So moving on, we will, like I said, be popping an item collection increase scroll. This is how I'm going to track everything, as well as it will increase our profit for uh, the day of grinding. We'll have plenty of these going forward, as I noticed I have 62 in the family inventory, as well as these 530%. 
uh, XP scrolls, that doesn't even include the ones that still sit on my Sork. So yeah, we have a ton of that stuff to go. In terms of items, there's not much here in terms of rare items you're looking for. So you're just looking for a high number of Kaffir stones and scrolls written in a, in a, in a ancient language. As well as there is the Rosar uh, weapons here. So uh, you can get those as well. Probably do a decent amount of ditching those on those because we do not have a ridiculous amount of inventory space on here compared to my Sork. Also don't have a whole lot of inventory slots available. So we'll end up probably tossing a fair amount of the random Rosar, which will probably come out to be about 50k a toss. So I'll try to keep track. So if you wanted to keep your horse here or something like that and store them, you would know exactly what it is. But we'll see. Maybe it won't fill up um, too heavily, but we'll have to see as we go. On the map, in terms of finding Basham Base, it is just to the right of Altanova. You head over here a little bit to the right, and it should pop up on your map. It's a little right and a little bit down on the map. Um, if you don't have it unlocked, you might have found Amir's Villa or uh, Karashu's Villa. Either one of those, just head south, and you should find Basham Base. Usually I hang out in the front here, but this is actually a fairly populated area because it's good for experience. It's, good for, it's better for experience than it is for loot, but... Uh, it's one of my favorite areas in the game, so I do want to I do want to do it for one of these money making videos or money grinding videos. Not really money making video, but money money grinding videos. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be doing this today. Obviously, I'm way over leveled for the AP recommendation, but we are just a level 56, so I think it will work out to give us a fairly decent amount of experience as well as some money. The money isn't terrible; it's just not the best. So I think that covers all the things we needed to cover here in terms of AP and DP. It's 197 uh, AP, Awakened AP is 196, so right there. And 258 DP should be plenty, shouldn't even have to worry about getting hit. Um, probably could have stored all my potions because I don't think I'm going to have to worry about dying. Normally I would have a Marnie Stone for this area that you guys would be able to, we'd be able to track the kills. But I'm not 57 on this uh, Nova, so I can't buy any Marnie Stones from um, Wacky Toki. So, yeah, this will be probably one of the last ones where there's an active um, um, there's an active vendor to buy the Marnie Stones that I won't track the kills. The next episode uh, will be up at Rude Sulfur Mine up here, and that will have the Marnie Stones tracking the kills because there's a guy that sells them right here at the entrance, so that one will be tracked on my Sork. I think that's all of that. I'll see you guys in about a half hour to check in and let you know how things are going. I get lost sometimes and I can't seem to find a light Between the walls I built for myself right in my mind and then you came over and you showed me love that I never had seen before Now, when I got you, it's all gonna be alright Thinking about all the things we did tonight What a time to be alive Just you and I Just you and I Alright everybody, we're about halfway through, 31 minutes to go, but the inventory has filled up. Now, the quality thing is, is that we can get these plus 15, or plus 5, plus 2, plus 15, whatever it ends up being, but all of this stuff tends to weigh you down. 22 pounds for this stuff, so I'm gonna go ahead and toss it all out right now, especially like this stuff as well, don't need that, doesn't sell for a ton. 
and it's just not worth it. But it's been going fairly good. The beginning of the grind, it was a lot of fighting over the area with a couple of other people. Not overly happy about that. Usually not a whole lot of competition here, but um, there was today, there was a couple of people, so... The beginning was kind of tough, but I did kill faster than they did, so they ended up bailing out. I'm also going to drop this cannon sting. I don't need it for Nova Awakening. It's not good, and so we're going to throw that out as well. So that got our weight down. We're still very high on the weight. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pop some food because that will lower my weight capacity as well, but I'll probably have to stop again mid-farm to... Uh, stop it here, but there's really only one rotation. I run here. It's not very complicated. It is what it is So we're gonna go and get into it should probably kill these guys I was gonna just run by them, but we should probably kill the free kills on our way up here So my favorite little area right here Is this little pit it has like a billion guys in it, which is just great for a, a nice little slaughter I have not been... Ooh, those, I don't know where those guys came from. But I have not been running this optimally. I've just been, you know, I kill the packs. If they, you know, if some survive, they survive. But mostly just been running for the next area. Because I kill so quick that I just don't think it's necessary to kill everything. I think it's much better if we take it a little bit... Um, little bit at a time and just slaughter what we can quickly like i probably shouldn't be killing this dude and i definitely shouldn't have killed those two guys but that's okay it's just a matter of how quickly can i get around the circle because these guys do respawn quickly so there's no um kind of like questionable like oh did i go through it too fast are they gonna be respawned I haven't had that issue yet. I did run it once a little bit too quick, and I did run into that issue. But overall, that was like one where I skipped, like, I think that was when the other people were here, and I skipped through a little bit of it, um, because obviously they were killing enemies too, so it was really kind of slowing down the whole the whole grind here, and that guy's not dead. Usually, usually I can get to this corner, get the guys that are trailing, and then dash down here shoot these guys and on we move i mean it's pretty fluid um i leave a lot of guys alive so it's not like the most optimal of optimal things but it ends up it ends up working out good enough i need to level up so we're level 56 we need to get to 57 on nova here so that we can why is it not letting me dash out um so that we can get some better skills so, like, all the skills are, like, capped at level 1 because of the level I'm at. So, hopefully we'll level up here. We'll get to at least 57. But the experience grind, not too bad. Um, obviously, we have a 530 experience buff here. but Or a 600, actually, for this one. It's 600. But it's still going fairly well on the grind. I really do like the circle. It's probably my favorite, like rotation in the whole entire game it's super easy it's super congested so you're never gonna like you can go pat mob to mob really easily you don't actually like have to come all the way over here this is just how i always set it up on my sork i just ran to the corner and was able to fire different abilities out from the corner but it's really not all that necessary to go to that corner especially on like the Nova here. I don't think it's all that ne necessary on Nova to go to the corner. But it does let you use that one ability to trap them in the corner while they're chasing you. And it's why I go to like this corner. Then you get all the chasers as well as that pack. You just throw it in there. And so it just, you know, works out for me for the various corners that I run to. Up there, that's probably the best ability. I have been using the... I don't even know what it's called. I'll use it here in a second and tell you. I'm just going to skip those guys that come over here to use it. So the Frozen Ring. It was an ability I wasn't using early because I forgot that it was LT, LB, not... I thought it was LT, RB, RT. I thought it was a three button press. Yeah, see, I skipped those guys and that was a little too quick for the game. That's okay. Uh, those guys didn't respawn, so let's go over here. We'll kill these guys over here. But yes, um... That was, like, one second too quick, I think. Yeah, because, see, now they're all respawn. Just skipping those guys made it so that I had to kind of alter my plans. But 
fairly easy area. I mean, even when I didn't have, like, god weapons for the area, it was still, like, really easy on my sword when I was trying to power level her up a while ago. It's just a great area. It's my favorite. It's, it might be my favorite area in the game. There's that spot on Abandoned Iron Mine that I really like, but other than that, um, this is probably my favorite. That was probably... Okay, that was bad skill usage right there. Because those guys didn't get close enough. I probably let too many guys chase me. I didn't kill enough. I'm going to have to slow this down, so I'm going to kill these guys. Normally don't, but I have a feeling... I was going to run that a little bit quicker than normal. I always follow up with that ability. Sometimes you don't need it. Sometimes there's three guys left. Um, I haven't got that precisely down yet, which is probably something I will, I should do. I don't know. I'm not, probably not going to farm this again for a while because I don't need to. But it's a little bit of an awkward thing right there if you don't if you don't get that optimal up there. There's a certain spot where you need to stand because half the time I do kill all of them with the frozen ring ability but I don't kill them enough that I should probably pay attention and figure it out. But like this I usually probably should just leave these guys. I mean there's not that many of them and the rest will be respawned by the time we get back here anyway but could also kill them out. I don't know what's better. Probably more optimal to kill them, but kind of all, kind of all fluid. I kind of just, you know, change it up as I go. And okay, I forgot how. Yeah, these guys will come all the way. There's some of them. It, it gives you a weird illusion because some of them come all the way, and then some of them obviously don't. That one wasn't thrown far enough. Yeah. So four guys survived that because I didn't. I didn't throw it far enough. You gotta move in a little bit so it hits those archers because they're stationary. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, I talked a little bit longer here. I have a little bit more knowledge of this farm spot than I do of Pilaku Jail. Um, I farmed this for probably 20 plus hours. I farmed Pilaku Jail for like four. So massive, massive difference. Let's go over real quick. So we have 5.3k trash loot. Now the trash loot here sells obviously for a lot less than the Pilaku jail trash loot from the last episode. But if we can get 10,000 of it, it will pretty much even out. Um, we have a decent amount of scrolls written in an ancient language. What is that? Seven. We have one Kafra's, two Blackstone armors. And then I'm going to go ahead and keep all of the plus ones. So like if it's plus five plus seven, you know, obviously any of those, I'm going to keep them, and we will see at the end um, how many of those we picked up, because that's, I guess that's considered your good loot here, is if you can get higher plus weapons and stuff like that, uh, because there's no, like, good drop. There's no, like, specific drop that you can get here that's like, oh, that's worth, you know, 20 million, so you're looking for good, uh, plus item drops. But mostly this area is just really good experience and that's what you go for here. But that's going to do it. I think I talked enough in the mid game here or the mid game, the mid video here. And uh, I'll see you guys in 20 minutes to recap what we got. I'm not going to leave this. Usually I would go and find a different spot to show a different little rotation, but I'm just going to go ahead and stay here because I like it here. This is by far the best place. I, I explored uh, Basham Base a little bit once, and I could not find something that was better than this. So if there is something better than this, I mean, I'd be more than willing to do it, but I didn't find it. So, and this is right at the entrance. Like, it just is convenient. It's just convenient and easy. See, that's why I followed that up um, with, uh, with those, like, shard shots, because... If you follow it up quick enough, it'll kill them all in one, like, motion, and then you can just get out of there. But yes, I will see you guys all in about 20 minutes. Tell me that we ain't running out of time 
Thinking about all the things we did tonight What a time to be alive Just you and I Just you and I Alright everyone, we are back in town to wrap up the video, so let's get right into it. So we're going to go over what we got, and then we'll go over the total profit, and wrap it up from there. So we actually started this episode, as you saw, at level 56. We hit 57, which was great. That was a one, one whole level in one hour, which it ended up actually being that because we were at about 8-9% when we started. We're at it's almost 6% into 57 now. So fairly happy with the leveling part of it. We'll now be able to buy Marnie Stones to track a little bit better on our for this series. We'll be able to track the kills a little bit better. So let's get into this. Um, we had 9,109 of the trash loot, the Bashim main. Uh, that's a lot. Um, obviously goes for a lot less than like the trash loot at Pilaku Jail. But you get almost double... It works out pretty well. So ancient scroll written in an ancient language. We got eight of those. We only got five plus weapons. I made the mistake and I discarded a plus five shield. That was my fault. I meant to discard this Rogar Ragon, but I was moving through quickly. Accidentally did the plus five. So that's one million off the profit that uh, won't show because we had that and ended up not uh, keeping it because I discarded it by accident. We had one Kafra stone, we had three black stone armor, one black magic crystal of agility, we had 59 black energy residue, three Azula's weakened magic rings, an intricately patterned mystical shard, seven traces of earth, uh, one Enoa's fragment, one stir- I mean these are trash, don't care about that, and then the charred rock fragment, like I said on Sork, we're not counting that because it's an event item and it doesn't really have an intrinsical value. It has a value, but um, it doesn't have a value that I want to put in this video, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So I wanted to make a couple apologies for this video real quick. One, the camera was zoomed in the whole time. I'm sorry about that. I just wasn't even thinking about it and I forgot to zoom out. So I do apologize for that. I know uh, most people prefer the zoomed out camera, so I do apologize for that. Second, I'm sorry that this didn't end up being even close to an hour. By the time I had to stop and discard, um, I had to do that a lot. As you can see, I discarded all my potions. I moved food into the family. I mean, we were filling up. I need to probably get the weight up on this Nova if we're going to continue to use her for uh, this series. I will need to get that weight increased up because at 1066 it filled up ridiculously quick it was just not even it wasn't even feasible at some points to farm so i would say even as good as i feel like i did farming basham's base i think we only farmed for under 50 minutes because this might be probably the shortest one i'll ever do on the channel it was like 50 minutes i don't think we got it was like four, I would guess somewhere between like 45 and 52 minutes. Uh, the Sork at Pilaku Jail, for example, I think I only stopped a handful of times. It may be shaved off. I, I mean, we probably farmed there for 57, 58 minutes. Um, and so I feel like the numbers for this should be higher. I just didn't have the weight capacity to um, fully um, 
what am I trying to say, fully take advantage of the amount of time that we had available to us. Um, hopefully in the future, I'll do a better job. Also, what did not help was the fact that we, um, is, is the fact that this area is semi-reliant on the drops that you get from um, weapons. Are they plus? Are they not? And then those obviously take up a lot of weight. So you need to continue to drop items to better, um, am I trying to say better, manage your inventory if you don't have a lot of room. So it just ended up not being the best grind that I could have had here. I'm not overly disappointed. It was fairly decent in terms of money, but I feel like it could have been better had I had more inventory space, not discarded that one plus five shield, and just done a better job overall. But these are just kind of aggregate numbers that I always spit out here. Obviously, prices fluctuate, they change, always has to be someone willing to pay for the item. But we're going to take it into a vacuum here. There was no crone meal eaten, there was no beast drops used, so uh, the profit actually here was a little bit higher probably than um, Pilaku Jail because of those items not being needed to do this. But let's get into the actual numbers. Um, we had... 9,106 Bashim mains um, times 1,925 silver is 17,534,825. Scroll written in ancient language, 8 times 835,000 is 6,680,000. Weapons that we acquired um, that I will attempt to sell is 3,630,000. The one Kafra stone we acquired was 2,670,000. Blackstone armor is 3 times 181,000 for 543,000. Black magic crystal of agility, 3,750,000, a lot more than I thought. Other junk loot, just, you know, the random, well, I consider it junk. Like, Asula's weakened ring that we got, that's not junk, but I have to put a value on it. And you can sell it to a vendor for 100,000, so that's the value I'm going to put on it. Same with the other stuff, I'm just going to put a value on it of whatever you can sell it to the to the vendors as, because I think that's probably the best way to go about this. Uh, and then random silver. We didn't have this at Pilaku Jail, but at Basham Base, they actually drop money for you as you kill them. 326,534 was the silver acquired from that. That's actually not terrible in my opinion. And then that gives us a total of just under 30 mil at 29 mil, 622,359. So actually, not a bad grind. That's a pretty good hour at a place that's not known to create a lot of money. It's mostly known for its XP, which it's great for XP, but it's one of my favorite places in the game. Had to do it early on here. We might revisit it when I feel like I'm better geared and better equipped for this. Once again, I want to apologize for the camera. Um, I have been really good at zooming out and remembering that before I start each video. I didn't today. That is my bad. And then I'm sorry for the inventory management. It killed a lot of the time that we could have done here. So you could probably tack on it. It would probably be around 31, 32 million if I would have done this better and more optimized. Probably 33, 34 million had I not discarded that um, uh, shield. As for what is coming next, I did buy some gear. We're going to do a, a couple of fun videos. One, we're going to do how fast can I go from 1 to 56 with whatever items I have accumulated on my on my main character. I'll explain that more when that video comes out. That'll come out probably next week. Um, I'm hoping I can do like 1 to 56 in like 2 hours. It'll be one unedited video and we'll see how fast I can go through that. As well as I'm going to do a series like that without any help from my other accounts. It's essentially like it'll be a brand new account. Obviously, it'll be a part of the same family because I don't want to start again. And I want the rewards for my main character. But we're going to go through that. And so the next one of these, like I said, is the Rude Sulfur Mind. And then we'll come back and do another Nova one. I don't know where we're going to go next on Nova. Haven't quite decided that. But uh, I'll figure it out and I'll let you guys know in the Rude Sulfur video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed once again, sorry for this video. I feel like it could have been a little bit better quality than it ended up being, but I still feel like it was uh, fairly good with the loot, and so I'm very happy with that. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you guys all tomorrow. Peace.